So first of all, to answer this question, I think the, the first thing is to explain some general things that happens in a normal cycle. So what happens in a normal cycle? At the beginning of our cycle, we have follicles available to grow, but we don't have hormones to make all of them grow. That's the reason why we ovulate just one egg, okay? And during this growth of this follicle that is going to produce this uh, maturation in the egg, this follicle is going to produce estrogens as well. And these estrogens, these hormones, are going to make intermediate lining grow, okay? After the ovulation, what happens? In our ovary, we have the corpus luteum that is like a scar that stays there after regulation that is going to start producing progesterone. So we will have estrogens, but a lot of progesterone also, okay? And this progesterone is going to make changes in the endometrial lining so that this endometrium, in case that there's an embryo there, can let the embryo implant on it, okay? Then after, if we don't have an embryo, the hormone levels are going to decrease and we will have the menstruation. So, what do we do with a natural cycle to prepare for an embryo transfer? We try to use all this natural process that we have in our body. So, actually, uh, normally, some days after the beginning of our cycles, at day 8 or 9 of our cycle, we will start to do some controls with blood tests and scans to see how this follicle is growing and how this endometrial lining is also growing. After that, we normally do what's called the modified natural cycle, which means we trigger the ovulation with a, with a medication so that we know exactly when you're ovulating. Because in that sense, it's very important to have uh, the endometrium totally synchronized with the embryo that we're going to transfer. And how we do that? We do it with uh, this medication that triggers the ovulation so that we know exactly when you're ovulating. So what we are using is actually um, all these hormones that are created naturally and that make the endometrium lining grow and uh, that make this endometrium be perfect for implantation. And also we use this corpus luteum, this scar that is, uh, that is in the ovary after the ovulation that produces all this estrogen and this progesterone in a natural way. Okay, so actually it's like making um, a natural conception. It's the more natural way of doing the embryo transfer. And in this sense, um, also the, the, the bad part, of course, is that it's not so flexible as a medicated cycle, because in a medicated cycle, we control the cycle and we can decide when to do the embryo transfer. With a natural cycle, our body is the boss. And the other thing is that with a natural cycle, uh, which is very is, is also a positive part actually, is that with the natural cycle we don't need to continue this hormonal treatment. With medicated cycles we will need to continue the medication during some weeks of pregnancy. With a natural cycle it's not needed. 